Hi, welcome to another edition of Foothills Finds. I'm Sharon Hales, and I'm here today at the McGroarty Arts Center in Tahunga, California. Many people have heard of the McGroarty Arts Center, but lots of folks don't know where it's located. They don't know the variety of unique classes that are offered here, and they're not aware of the importance of this building in California history. So today I've invited Frank Valadez, who's board president, and Laurel Giles, director of the McGroarty Art Center, and they are going to share their knowledge and expertise about this jewel set in the northern foothills of Los Angeles. So Frank and Laurel, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, and you. we have some um, lots of stories that I know everyone's going to be interested in hearing. And I'm hoping that you'll start with telling us, first of all, what is the importance of the McGroarty Art Center in this community? Who does it serve? Well, we serve multi-generational people. All of the seniors, the kids, and we have an art program that covers ceramics, painting, acrylics, uh, oddball items. And we basically serve yeah. everybody in the community, you know, and for generation upon generation, we have uh, parents now that were children, mm -hmm. and now they're bringing their kids. Yeah. Well, I looked on your website. Some of the classes offered are very surprising. So stained glass and Tai Chi photography for nighttime mm -hmm. photographers, yes. um, calligraphy, um, piano, contemporary Native American beating. I mean, you called them oddball, but <laughs> they're know. interesting, interesting classes. Right. Well, more goes on here than just art classes. Don't you have exhibits? And tell us what's um, some of the big events that you have here. We have a big ceramic show coming up in June. Um, this time it's an invitational juried show. Usually it's just been people that have been invited by our ceramics teachers. And this time, in the last two years, we've opened it up, made it bigger, uh, and have people entering from basically outside the community. And what fun events. And yes. I know you also do venue rental, right? Correct. Correct. Well, this is a beautiful setting for weddings and parties. Yeah. I know they do retreats. There are all sorts right. of occasions yeah. we could have in this beautiful area. Well, tell me about Stephen McGroarty. He was a very famous man in California. How did he come out to California, and what did he do? I believe he came out for his health. He was born back in Pennsylvania. He was a school teacher and an attorney, and he came out for his health because at one time the Tahunga here was known as mm -hmm. the, the Mountains of Health and people came here for asthma problems. There was a, an asthmatic home down the street here, and uh, he had a small cabin first up on a hillside over here, and then they built this house, which burned down, and then they rebuilt it. And, and it was just he and his wife, they didn't have any children. He and his wife, children. they did not have, well, mm -hmm. um, his mother-in-law also lived with them. Okay. Yeah. Her mother was here. And then what did he do for a living? Uh, quite a bit, um, um, playwright, um, he was most notable in play, the mission uh, play, and that had probably about two million plus back in the day, folks that saw that. Wow. He, he was a congressman he was a for congressman. a couple of sessions. He wrote uh, sessions. for the LA Times for about 40 yeah. years yeah. for the uh, magazine section, basically. Yeah. It was called From the Green Verdugo Hills, and he yeah. wrote that for 40 years. He wrote for the Times. He served his two years, two terms in Congress. He wrote the play, he was Poet Laureate yes. for the state of California, mm -hmm. and... Uh, and all that happened from this home, from upstairs this home, in his yeah. library. Yeah. I'd love to take a look at it. Okay. Can you show us? Sure, you know. I'd be happy to. Thank you. Well, we are upstairs in the house in this incredible library. It's set amidst 12 acres of wooded land, and so this was a wonderful retreat for Stephen McGordy to come up and upstairs and do his writing. There are certificates and historic memorabilia all along the walls, and the public is invited to take a tour of the facility. Is that right? Correct. Okay, Correct. great. Well, tell us the importance of the mission play. He wrote the mission play, and what was it, and who saw it? You know, almost everybody saw it, I think. It was, a, it was the social thing to do back in the day and it ran for about 20 years. And out in they, San Gabriel? Out in San Gabriel. Mm -hmm. They built the uh, San Gabriel Mission Playhouse specifically to house that play because it just kept running and running and running and so that's what you did. You went to the Mission Play, which basically was about the uh, Spanish and colonizing California mm -hmm. and the Indians and the, the Spaniards and, and the missions. 
So it was entertainment and a history lesson exactly. at the same time. So it probably instilled a lot of pride in California. Probably. Well, the McGordy Art Center is a place of beauty and it's also a place of education. And so if community members would like to learn more about the McGordy Art Center or take classes, how do they get involved? Well, uh, stop by, see us. We're in the office 10 to 4 every day. Or the website is www.mcgordyartscenter.org. They can look us up. We have a, our classes that are um, on the website, information about us, information about the board members. Um, we're all volunteer basis here now. Everybody um, works to keep McGordy alive and the dream alive here at McGordy. Well, we are certainly grateful to you for keeping this historic cultural monument alive for us to pass on to future generations. I know you've spent tireless hours, and thank you for spending time with us today. And as people come to visit the McGordy Art Center, you can say hello to Frank and Laurel. They'll be here to greet you and to give you more information. So thanks for visiting with us today at the McGordy Art Center. I'm Sharon Hales, and I'll see you next time on another edition of Foothills Finds. And you can find me at Sharon Hales. Hales.com.